In this video, I'm going to give you the ultimate guide on how to learn any new chord shape. So if you want to learn new chord shapes faster and more easily than ever before and get them to stick in your memory, stay tuned. <laughs> Hi, James here and welcome to my ultimate guide on how to learn a new chord shape. Now, this is quite a simple topic, but I do get a lot of questions about it. And it seems that a lot of players do struggle with finding the best way to learn a new chord shape. Perhaps you can relate to this. Maybe you spent ages learning a new shape. Next day, you pick up your guitar and you can't even remember the darn thing. Or maybe there's a particular chord in a song you like to play that you just can never remember. Always trips you up when you get to that point in the song. Well, if this does ever happen to you, this lesson has the power to change all that. And the best thing is the method I'm going to show you is crazy simple. You can literally start doing it straight away. And it doesn't just work for beginners either. I know hundreds of chords and I still use this every time I need to learn a new shape. And stick around to the end of the video too, because that's where I'll be sharing three crucial things you really have to do for every new shape you learn. Without these, things just ain't gonna sound that good. So stick around to the end of the video to catch those three bonus tips. This video is brought to you by my No Bull Bar Chords for Guitar book. This is an affordable step-by-step -step method for mastering bar chords on the guitar. It shows you all the bar chords you need to know, practice routines, tips on hand position, pretty much everything. And it also includes play along practice tracks. It's available in paperback and ebook from all major online bookstores. You can even ask your local library to order it in for you. I'll leave a link to the book in the description below this video and do check it out if you think you could do with some help with your bar chords. They are an important thing to master on the guitar. So link under the video, you can click through and check it out. Also look for, out for some videos coming right here on my channel on bar chords very soon. But now let's get on with today's lesson. I'm gonna show you a method that I call throwing away the chord shape. It's something I've developed from teaching literally thousands of hours of guitar. And uh, I'm not saying I invented it. I'm sure there are other people using similar methods, but it really works. And it's what I wanna show you right now in this lesson. So let's say we wanted to learn a new chord shape. Let's keep it really simple to start with. Let's say we wanted to learn this E minor chord here. Now you're probably thinking, yeah, great, I already know that chord. And that's cool, but it doesn't really matter what chord we're learning now. It's more about the method I'm gonna show you. So just bear with me here. So the first thing we do is we make that chord on our guitar. We might be using a chord book or a chord diagram or something to see the shape and we play it on the guitar. Step one of the throwing away method is to look at that chord shape. So we're gonna play it. And as we do that, we're looking at it because we're trying to get a clear mental photograph in our mind of what that chord shape looks like. This step is absolutely crucial. So step one is to look at the chord shape and get that mental snapshot of what it looks like. So I'm still looking at the chord. Keep looking at the chord. Don't rush this part of the process. Step two is we throw the chord away. We literally just take it off the guitar. And that's step two. Now step three is we look back at the fretboard of the guitar and we imagine we can see the chord on there as if we're playing it. So we're not actually gonna play it yet. We're just looking at the guitar and we're kind of visualizing where we're gonna put our fingers when we come back to the shape. So I'm looking at the guitar now. I'm seeing that E minor chord back on the fretboard. And when I can see exactly where to put my fingers, I put it back on again. Now we repeat the process. We look at the chord shape. We throw it away. We look back on the guitar and see the shape on there. See that mental snapshot again. And when you can see exactly where you're going, you put it back on. Of course, this works for other chord shapes too. It works for literally any chord shape. Let's take this uh, G, G bar chord at the third fret, for example. First thing we do is we play the shape. Now look at the shape, throw it away. Take a clear look at that neck and see the shape on the fretboard as if you were playing it. And when you're ready, put it back on again. Have a good look at that chord throw it away, see it back on the guitar, put it back on. And that is a throwing away exercise. Simple, isn't it? But the really powerful thing about this is you're learning it in your mind. You're not just trying to hope your fingers remember where to go. We're actually programming our fingers where to go. We're steering them to the correct place on the fretboard 
before we play the shape rather than slapping the shape down and then realizing we're wrong and needing to correct it. So take a chord shape that you need to learn or one that maybe you kind of know but you need to know a little bit better and give it a try. And then in the comments below this video, leave me a comment, tell me what chord shape you learned and give me a bit of feedback about how this helped you. Did you find it really quick way to get the chord to stick in your memory? You know, was it faster than whatever method you normally use? Let me know, I'd love to hear how this has helped you out. Now I promised you three bonus tips at the start of this video, so here they are, three crucial things you must do for any new chord shape you learn, okay? These are very basic, but a lot of people overlook them. The first thing is learn the shape thoroughly, okay? Now that's where this exercise I've shown you is really gonna help. If you have a half-baked version of that chord, you're never gonna really nail it. Learn the shape thoroughly. The second thing you need to learn is the name of the chord. A lot of people don't do this. They know loads of chords, but they don't know what they're called. So whenever they need to play a certain chord, they don't know which shape to play. Check you know the name of every chord shape that you learn. The third thing is, make sure you know if any strings need to be left out of that chord shape. A lot of guitar players just hit all the strings when they strum a chord, but on certain chords, we wanna leave some of those strings out. So make sure that you know that on a D chord, you don't play the low E in the A string. Otherwise it sounds like this. Make sure that you know that on a C chord, you don't play the low E string. Otherwise it sounds like this. This is an important thing which can really help you get in your chord shapes sounding 100%. Remember to leave a comment letting me know what chord shape you learned with this exercise and how it helped you out. Give me some feedback. And other than that, that is your ultimate guide to learning any new chord shape on the guitar. Remember you'll find the link to the Noble Bar Chords book in the description below this video. Click through, check that out if you need some help with your bar chords. But other than that, thanks a lot for watching today. Look out for another video coming very soon right here on my channel. So till then, have a great day and I'll catch you next time.